I'm going to give an example of how you might use the hourly editor. For an overview of the hourly editor, see the link in the description. If you navigate to schedules, hourly editor, you're looking at Monday, July 29th, but you need to start thinking about your staffing for tomorrow, Tuesday, July 30th. It's late afternoon, early evening, so it's time to make some changes. So we're going to go to July 30th. You can see the battalion chief position is 0 of 1, or 6 of 4 on engine 61, 1 of 2, aid 61. We're even here at ladder 62. We're short 1 at 79, and we're plus 1 at station 91. So I like to typically start at the top and work my way down. So I'm just dragging, holding and dragging the company officer to fill the battalion chief position. And you can see how it starts to highlight as yellow. Once up is yellow, you release and it will fill that position. If you attempt to move someone into a position that can't work in that position, it won't let you. So this firefighter is not qualified to work as a company officer. So we'll start shifting some people around. You can see we're short here on aid 61. So I'm going to go ahead and block these positions out. By doing so, <clears throat> I'm selecting the bullet. And at the top of the screen, you can see it says block time. But if you start typing, it'll highlight that and then hit add. Because we don't need those positions to be open. We're at minimum staffing, so just clear that up. And we're even here, and we're even here, and we're short here. So what I can do is I can transfer someone to this station here. So I'm going to go ahead and rotate McPherson, and then I'm going to block this position out. And now I'm even. Let's switch to my filter view here. So you can see I have a list of overtime lists, rotation lists. And let's say, for example, Nichols calls in sick. And now he can submit his sick leave request via his phone or, or a computer at home. But for whatever reason and for sake of this video, I'm just going to submit it on his behalf. So I'm going to choose leave sick to 24 hours, and that removes him from the schedule. If I click on that position, it should show him here at the bottom, approved time off, leave sick. So now we're short staffed. I'm even everywhere else and now I'm, I'm one below. So I need to fill this overtime position. So these columns can be sorted. And if you select availability, it's going to pop everyone that's available to the top. And these individuals here have volunteered to work overtime today. They've used the availability feature in the system to say, hey, I want to volunteer, rather than having to come to us and put it on an Excel spreadsheet like we used to do. This is how the employee would now do it. So in order to sort voluntary list, which is based on battalion, station or facility, and last voluntary overtime list. Well, let me back up. Availability work group, station, last voluntary overtime. So I'm looking at McCormick, Prime, and Grimes. Well, it's a firefighter position. The bargaining unit members have priority over a supervisor. So in this case, Prime 
is higher on the voluntary list. So I'm going to select Prime, and it populates him down here, and I can change his time type, and I can add him. Or I can just select that, and it populates him down here too. And make sure you change the time type. I'm going to add him. So there we go. Now, let's say someone calls in in the morning and says, hey, I'm having car problems or the traffic's backed up and I'm not going to be in for a couple hours, whatever. You can just shorten their shift or they can submit their two hours of leave or let's say someone's agreed to cover for them. So we just need someone to cover for them for two hours. So we're going to select that position, and let's just say someone at, let's just say Baines said that he would cover and we just plop him in there. And we could change the time type if we wanted to. So there's a few examples of how you might use this system. If you have any questions, you can contact the system administrator by selecting the name in the upper right hand corner. Or you can watch additional videos provided by Aladtech by selecting this icon.